hello so in this video I will explain you what is a uh, uh, range function and uh, in Python in Python uh, a range function is used to generate uh, a sequence uh, of integer numbers and separated by one so it, it it starts it starts from zero if you uh, there are three versions of range function so I will go step by step for each of the uh, for each of the range um, uh, versions so you can use it in three ways first thing is that if you, if you have not uh, studied about the list you should have a look on that video I have already made a video on Python list and other uh, things so please have a look on uh, the videos on my channel and uh, please do not forget to like and subscribe so let's uh, begin with this uh, range function so first version of range is range of n so when you write range of 10 that means you will start from 0 and then it will go till 9 so it won't go till 10 so it will go from 0 till 10 till 9 by a step of 1 so it is like this say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so it have it has 10 numbers but it will start from 0 if you are using this version range of writing just one single number so when you write a is equal to range of 10 and just write a it will give uh, return back the range 0 to 10 so in order to use this thing in a list you need to convert that into a list so but range has created a iterator but you need to convert into a list so that you can use it in your further analysis so how you can convert this range into the list say so already a has stored this range 10 so which includes the values from 0 till 9 with a step of 1 so convert a range you just write list and inside that give the range so a so b is equal to list of a so that means b is equal to list of range of 10 in turn so a is equal to range of 10 and b is equal to list of a so inside list you just give the range when you write like this now b becomes a list of integer numbers starting from 0 end with 9 because it won't go till 10 keep in mind it is always minus uh, whatever number you put it inside the range that is minus 1 so it start from 0 till 9 so 0 1 2 3 it is the length of the list is 10 but the start uh, will start with 0 so now you have the B is now list but the A was not list A was range so once you have created range you can convert into a list so that you can use it now this is the first version of range the second version of range is range start to end so now if you write a is equal to range 10 to 25 that will give the numbers 10 11 12 till 24 won't go till 25 now if you write b is equal to list of a so b is now a list write down so you see 10 11 12 13 14 15 till 24 so you have first written range and then you have converted into a list this was the second version where you are writing start and end keep in mind that whatever the end is it will be it will be good list will be going till the end minus one that 25 minus one that is 24 and we'll start from the first starting that is 10 and the step size will be one so 10 11 12 to 12 minus 11 that is 1 so step size is 1 now the third version of range is begin end and step that means a start end and step so say you want to start with 10 and go till 100 with a step of 5 instead of a step of 1 so you do not if you write just a step of 1 you will get a step of 1 if you write 10 you will get a step of 10 so whatever you write here that will be the step so range of 10 then end value that is the 100 and the step size is 5 you could have gone from max uh, bigger value to lower values and give a step of negative say you want to go from 
100 to 10 with the step size of minus 5 so it will decrease from 100 then 95 then 90 then 85 like that but here we are in ascending order we are going from 10 to 100 with a step of 5 so just to convert into a list you will write list of range start end and step so 10 105 if you just run it you get this So you can see that it is going from 10 and it is ascending with 5 step size. So it is not coming like 10, 11, 12. Instead it is going 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5 and like that. If you write instead of like this, if you go backward like 100 to 10 with a step size of minus 5, it will go like this. 100, 95 but the step size is decreasing minus 5. So now this is the list because you have already written the list of range of this. So you know you have now understood first you have to write the range then you have to convert it by the using function list. Also if you know about the for loop then it's okay. I will give you just one more thing uh, how to use it uh, in the for loop. If you write like for i in range of 0 to 10 that that will take into consideration because range is in a iterate form and it will go from 0 to 9 so i will take values from 0 to 9 i am writing a simple function of print for i in range that means for all values which are i which is in this range print these values so it is going from 0 to 9 you could have written range 0 to 10 with a step of 2 it could have given like this or because starting till end and a step size you could have written 10 to minus 10 with a step size of minus 2 means going from bigger value to smaller values with a step size of minus 2 it will print all these values 10 8 6 4 2 0 minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 minus 8 so this is the way you can use this range so keep in mind there are three versions of range one version is range of n that is just give the value it will start from zero and go to the uh, last value minus one that is the value which you have put here then you can write the second version is start to end which will go for start from starting value and it will end till end minus one that is 25 minus one and the third is start end in step size whatever the step size you want you can go it in ascending order you can go it in descending order and the last thing is uh, to keep in mind is that you can use the range function during the for loop you need, do not need to convert into the list to be able to use in the for loop so thanks for watching this video please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and please have a look on the playlist of for python and r and i will be making more videos on machine learning and data science with r and python so please be in touch and have a look on my playlist so thanks for watching bye bye